Welcome to lecture 8. Okay, imagine this. You're at your family's gathering. Maybe it's around New Year's, like when I'm recording now. And your Chinese-speaking aunt, who always has no boundaries, shows you a rash. Now, is that rash an allergic high from the holiday sweater, or is it from her recent vaccines? Or is it some rare vasculitis that you've only done donkey cards for? You don't know, your aunt said, exasperated. Maybe you have water in your brain. In this lecture, we're talking about immunology, neurology, and psychiatry. Let's just say that the last topic has never been brought up at the dinner table. Immunology as a medical specialty is Mian Yi Ke, an infectious disease, Liu Xing Xing Ji Bing Ke. Immune system is Mian Yi Xi Tong. Pathogen is Bing Yuan Ti, Bing meaning a disease, Yuan Ti meaning a source object. Bacteria is Xi Jun and the virus Bing Du. Fungus is Zhen Jun. Parasite is Ji Shen Chong. Pollen is Hua Fen. Allergen Guo Ming Yuan. Antigen Kang Yuan and antibody Kang Ti. Complement system will be Bu Ti Xi Tong. The lymphatic system Ling Ba Xi Tong. And the lymph node Ling Ba Jie. Bone marrow is Gu Sui. Hematopoietic stem cells will be Zhao Xue Gan Xi Bao. Zhao meaning to make or produce. Leukocyte is Bai Xi Bao or Bai Xue Qiu. The B and T cells, B Xi Bao and T Xi Bao. Neutrophils will be Zhong Xing Li Xi Bao. Zhong Xing meaning neutral. Eosinophil is Shi Xuan Xing Li Xi Bao. Xuan meaning acidic. Shi Xuan meaning acidophilic in this case to the eosin. Macrophage is Ju Shi Xi Bao. Mast cell is Fei Da Xi Bao. Histamine is Zu An and Leukotriene Bai San Xi. Prostaglandin is Tian Lie Xian Su. You may need to explain to the patient that the prostaglandin doesn't come from the prostate. Tian Lie Xian Su Bing Bu Lai Yu Tian Lie Xian. For neurology, motor is called Ring Dong. Sensory is either Gan Jue or Gan Zhi. Gan Jue can also mean emotions in some cases. Neuron is Shen Jing Yuan or Shen Jing Xi Bao. Synapse is Tu Chu. Myelin is Sui Qiao Zhi. Central nervous system is Zhong Shu Shen Jing Xi Tong. And the peripheral nervous system, Zhou Wei Shen Jing Xi Tong. Sympathetic nervous system is Jiao Gan Shen Jing and the parasympathetic fu jiao gan shen jing. Whenever you see the prefix para, you can pretty much guarantee that there is a fu in the translation as well. Cranial nerve is lu shen jing or nao shen jing. Spinal cord is ji sui. Inner ear is nei er. Semicircular canal is ban gui guan. And meninges nao mo. Brainstem is called nao gan. The cerebellum and cerebrum is xiao nao and da nao. Hemisphere is ban qiu and the ventricle nao shi. CSF is nao ji ye and the cortex pi ten. Hypothalamus is xia qiu nao. Pituitary gland is nao chui ti. The basal ganglia ji di shen jing jie. Thalamus is qiu nao. Hippocampus is Hai Ma Ti. Neurotransmitter is Shen Jing Di Zhi. And white matter, Bai Zhi. The gray matter, Hui Zhi. We mentioned that Zhou Wei Shen Jing Xi Tong is a translation for peripheral nervous system. We may also hear Wai Wei Shen Jing Xi Tong to mean the same thing as well. Here's some practice. Allergen can cause immune systems to activate improperly, and many symptoms are caused by histamine release. 过敏源会异常激活免疫系统。许多症状是由阻安释放引起的。A fluid-filled space in the brain is the ventricle, which holds the CSF, and large ventricles can be a sign of disease. 大脑中充满液体的空间是脑室。脑室增大可能是疾病的征兆。Next time your aunt tells you that you have water in your brain, just say that it's normal, as long as the pressure is not too high. To say inflammation, you can say 炎症 or 发炎. 
infection will be 感染. Rash will either be 皮疹 or 疹子. Hives is 荨麻疹. Edema is either called 浮肿 or 水肿. Leukocytosis is 白细胞增多 and leukopenia 白细胞减少. For neurology symptoms, alert and oriented can be translated as 清醒. Balance is 平衡. Coordination is 协调. Ataxia will be 运动失调 or 共济失调. 运动失调 is probably the more easier understood. Aphasia is 失语症. Hearing loss is 听力下降 or 失聪. Remember that 失聪 doesn't mean that one loses one's intelligence. It means hearing loss or complete hearing loss. Tinnitus is 耳鸣. Aura is 前兆 or 先兆. Tremor is 震颤 and 颤抖. Vertigo is 眩晕. Dizziness is 头晕. Nystagmus will be 眼球震颤. Double vision, 复视. 复 meaning again or double. Paralysis is 瘫痪 or 麻痹. And paresthesia, 感觉异常. Hemiplegia will be 偏瘫. And quadriplegia, 四肢瘫痪. Or 全瘫. Paraplegia is 下身瘫痪 or 结瘫. 结 meaning to cut or a segment. Atrophy is 萎缩. Seizure is 癫痫发作. And syncope, 晕倒 or 昏厥. Coma is 昏迷. Reflex is 反射. Rigidity, 僵硬. Spasm is 痉挛, or commonly known as 抽筋. Delirium is 绽望. For mental health symptoms, mood is translated as 心情 or 情绪. Anxiety is 焦虑. Panic, 恐慌. Depression is 抑郁. And grief, 悲伤 or 悲痛. Anger is 愤怒. And mania, 狂躁. Psychosis is 精神错乱. Confusion will be 困惑. And hallucination, 幻觉. Paranoia is 偏执. Mood swings, 情绪波动. Binge drinking is called 重酒 or 过度饮酒. Addiction, 成瘾. And suicide, 自杀. We've already said that allergen is 过敏源, so allergy is 过敏. Anaphylaxis is 过敏性休克. We have a note on that later. Atopy is 特异性 or 过敏体质. Autoimmune disease is 自身免疫疾病. Hypersensitivity reaction, 超敏反应. Hay fever is 花粉热, or commonly called 过敏性鼻炎 as well. Immunodeficiency is 免疫缺陷. Rheumatism, 分尸病. I imagine that this translation is actually drawing some Chinese medicine concepts. Lupus is 狼疮. Vasculitis, 血管炎. Alzheimer's disease is 阿尔茨海默氏症, or commonly called 老年痴呆症. Parkinson's disease, 帕金森氏病. Essential tremor, 原发性症程. Essential is 原发性. Huntington's chorea is Huntington 舞蹈症. Aneurysm, 动脉瘤. Epilepsy, 癫痫. Bell's palsy is 面神经麻痹, or 面瘫. 面瘫 is a common term for facial paralysis. Cerebral palsy is 脑瘫. Hydrocephalus, 脑积水. Meningitis, 脑膜炎. Encephalitis, 脑炎. Multiple sclerosis is 多发性硬化症. And concussion, 脑震荡. Dong actually meaning to swing. 
transient ischemic attack is called 短暂性脑缺血发作 ischemic 缺血性 and hemorrhagic 出血性 cluster headache is called 从急性头痛 and tension headache 紧张性头痛 migraine is called 偏头痛偏 meaning to one side dementia is 痴呆 and autism 自闭症 are the names of the side conditions. For a major depressive disorder is 重度抑郁症 postpartum depression 产后抑郁 bipolar disorder 双向性障碍 or more commonly called 躁郁症躁 meaning 狂躁 and 郁 of course is 抑郁 Schizophrenia is 精神分裂症 Substance use disorder, 物质使用障碍 Anorexia is 厌食症 and pica 意识症厌 meaning to dislike, and 意 meaning different or peculiar. Obsessive compulsive disorder is 强迫症 PTSD is 创伤后应激障碍应激 meaning responding to stress. Adjustment disorder is 适应障碍 Personality disorder is 人格障碍 So you can probably imagine that obsessive compulsive personality disorder is 强迫性人格障碍 Insomnia is 失眠症 and ADHD 多动症 Intellectual disability is either called 智力残疾 or 智力障碍 Learning disability 学习障碍 Dyslexia, 阅读障碍 and phobia, 恐惧症障碍 meaning a barrier. Here are some translation notes. 瘫痪 is more commonly used than 麻痹 The latter is a formal term, but also it can mean distracted, not paying enough attention to dangers. It may also be confused with 麻木 which means numb. Seizure actually has no direct translations in Mandarin. It's usually translated as 癫痫发作 so an episode of epilepsy. Remember that 癫痫 is epilepsy, but you also may already know that you can have a seizure without epilepsy. So translating it as 癫痫发作 isn't really the most accurate, but it's the most commonly used. A patient may also use the term 抽搐 to describe a seizure, and 抽搐 actually means uncontrolled muscle spasm. Lastly. A common translation for psychosis is 精神病发作 so an episode of psychiatric condition. And this term is very broad and inaccurate, and sometimes has a negative connotation. Just like there's issue translating seizure, there's some issues translating anaphylaxis as well. The common term for anaphylaxis is 过敏性休克 which means actually anaphylactic shock. 休克 meaning shock. On the other hand, 过敏反应 can refer to any allergic reaction. So there really isn't a true translation for anaphylaxis. You can maybe say 严重过敏反应 or a severe allergic reaction. Be aware of the difference between facial nerve palsy and facial paralysis. The previous is translated as 面神经麻痹 and is the condition, whereas the latter, translated as 面瘫 is a symptom. For example, 面瘫 can also be a symptom of a stroke. Lastly, translation for schizophrenia, 精神分裂症 in Chinese literally means splitting of the mind. So it's very common to confuse it with dissociative identity disorder, also called multiple personality disorder. Here's some practice. 创伤后应激障碍是由创伤性事件导致的，而适应障碍是由带来压力的事件。或环境改变所导致的。In English, that will be PTSD is caused by traumatic events, while adjustment disorder is caused by stressful event or change in environment. 面部虚弱、眼球震颤和眩晕可能是脑干中风的症状。Facial weakness, nystagmus, and vertigo may be signs of brainstem stroke. For common tests, white blood cell count is 白血球计数。And antibody titer, 抗体滴毒 Human leukocyte antigen is 人白细胞抗原 Anti-nuclear antibody is 抗核抗体 Oral food challenge, 
食物激发实验。CT is 电脑断层扫描 and MRI 核磁共振。Hopefully these terms are revealed to you at this point. Angiogram is 血管造影。造影 meaning to create a shadow. Electroencephalogram is 脑电图。An electromyogram 肌电图。For、common treatments, immunosuppression is called 免疫抑制 Antihistamines, 抗组胺药 or commonly called 抗过敏药 Antiallergens. Epinephrine is 肾上腺素 Interferon, 干扰素 Biologic therapy is either called 大分子治疗 or 生物治疗法 Intravenous immunoglobulin will be 静脉注射免疫球蛋白免疫球蛋白 immunoglobulin is of course another name for 抗体 Plasma phoresis is 血浆置换血浆 plasma. Stem cell transplant 干细胞移植 Deep brain stimulation will be 脑深部电磁激 Sedative 镇静剂 Antiepileptics is 抗癫痫药 and tryptans 取氮类药 Antipsychotics will be 抗精神病药 Antidepressant, 抗抑郁药 Adderall, the commercial name translation is Adderall, or you can translate it as amphetamine, which is amphetamine. Psychiatrist, 精神科医生 Cognitive behavior therapy is called 认知行为疗法 Counselor is 心理咨询师 Crisis helpline, 危机热线 Psychiatric hospital, 精神科医院 Here's some practice. To say 抗癫痫药是防止癫痫发作的重要药物 Antiepileptics are important medications to prevent seizures. 抗核抗体检查阳性，并不立即确诊自身免疫疾病 That means positive anti-nuclear antibody test. Does not immediately confirm a diagnosis of autoimmune disease. Lastly, here's a phrase that you may use in your clinic. Are you open to the idea of talking with a psychiatrist who may better treat your anxiety and depression with cognitive and behavior therapy as well as medication? 您愿意和一位精神科医生交谈吗？精神科医生能更好的用认知和行为疗法以及药物治疗您的焦虑和抑郁。Thank you for being with us this lecture, and again, I have no conflict of interest. The text and the slides and workbook are written by me, with additional help from members of CMEC at UCLA. Video editing is made by Jasmine. Thank you, and see you next time.